Hello, Dr. James Markham here. Thank you for joining me for another Biblical Prescription for Life. I had a question as well as a video from YouTube come in. They wanted me to give my opinion on this. And the question that was proposed was this. After this person looked at the video, they had this question. Does Mr. Beast help people to see? Is this true and even possible? So that's the question. And Mr. Beast, I didn't know much about him, but he's very popular on YouTube. He helps many people in many ways. And the question that this person has, can this Mr. Beast, this YouTube person, actually help people to see? Well, let's tackle that question today. But before we do that, I want to give you a biblical prescription. John 8, verse 12. Then Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. Hold that text with you, John 8, 12, very important. Well, thank you for sending me this video in, and if others have videos they like me or other things they like me to give an opinion on, I'd be happy to. Um, and this is just my opinion. And the question that we have is, does Mr. Beats help people to see? Well, I watched this video and you can watch this too on YouTube. But Mr. Beast helped 1,000 people to improve their vision, some even that were nearly blind to see. Well, how did he do that? Well, looking at the video, a couple things that I can say, and I don't know who this Mr. Beast is um, very well, but I can tell you this, he was not a physician, but he used physicians to help people to see, and it looked like he funded them the money it would take to use medical technology so they could see them. So does Mr. Beast help people to see? Indirectly, yes. Directly, no. Now, he did not do the procedures himself, but I think he paid for it. It looked like he paid for all these procedures. It was not some miracle that he placed hands on people and they could see all of a sudden. We know that that's happened in the Bible in the past, but that was not this type of healing that he did. He used modern medical technology. He paid for it to help people to see. Now, it looked like um, these people that, that he helped had cataracts. Now, cataracts are the number one cause of blindness or decreased vision worldwide, according to the World Health Organization. It's very common, not so much in industrialized countries, but very common in places around the world or in areas where people do not have access to this type of technology that Mr. Beast so generously um, provided these people for. And it was dramatic looking at the videos, and it would be dramatic if you couldn't see, and all of a sudden you could see things again. And that's what I saw in this video. So this is what a cataract looks like. The lens that lets light hit the retina is clouded up. And basically there's clumps of protein in this area. There's yellow brown pigment that cloud the, the, the light from getting back to the um, retina number one cause of blindness. So through a process called phacoemulsification, usually an ophthalmologist goes in under that area and, and breaks this pigment up, removes that pigment, then he places, inserts a new lens, and voila, people can see. And in this video that Mr. Beast did, there were dramatic results almost immediately. People that couldn't see, almost blind, affected their lives. All of a sudden they could see again. You could look at the video, they were happy, they were jumping around, they felt good. This is a very popular video and the question that we had that asked me on my opinion, um, did Mr. Beast help people to see? The answer to that, yes, he did help them through modern technology as provided by medical professionals. It wasn't some healing with his hands that he did. It wasn't a procedure he did, but it looked like he paid and he made a ways that modern medicine could help these people to see. So when we talk about vision, 
I want us to think about this. And that was a good thing that Mr. Beast did to help a lot of people. But a lot of people around the world do have cataracts, things that we can do to help our eyes. Um, avoid too much sunlight, avoid radiation, certain medical conditions called diabetes. We need to pay attention to that. Try to stay away from cigarettes and smoking. Those are all things that damage the eyes. Radiation exposure. Protect your eyes. Use sunglasses when appropriate. And if you're having visual problems, see a medical profession. So the answer to this question is, is yes. Um, is this a miracle? Um, some might think that modern medicine can provide miracles um, and the technology. We didn't always have that, but now we have this technology to help people with cataracts regain their vision. But in thinking about this and in answering this question about how Mr. Beast helped people to see by giving money and helping them out, I think that was a great thing to do. But also, I want you to think about the big, big bigger picture today. We want people to see truth, um, the light of truth. We want people to understand what's going on in this world, um, to give hope so that not only we have physical vision, but we have a vision of what the future might look like. We not only want to look at things, but we want to focus our eyes and our thoughts on spiritual things. And we don't want to have spiritual blindness. And one way to do this is focus on this text today, John 8, verses 12. Then Jesus spoke to them again. So he said this more than once. He says, I am the light of the world, of our world. Christ is the light, the answer to spiritual darkness. And he who follows me shall not walk in darkness. How do we follow Christ? Well, we've talked about that before staying in his word, praying, being around people that are, are helpful in growing our walk, being a part of the body of Christ, joining groups that can help us do these things. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. So I'm glad that Mr. Beast helped people to physically see, but I want us to focus on Christ who can take away spiritual blindness. So that's something to hold on to that's encouraging. So if you might have videos or questions about different medical um, issues that are going on in YouTube or other um, venues, um, I'll be happy to look at them and give my opinion. Remember, these are my opinions based on medical history that I have. Um, and the question that came in today, does Mr. Beast help people to see? And the answer to that question, yes, through modern technology that's out there available. He did help these people. It is possible this video was true. He helped a thousand people at least. So I also want us to focus on Christ who can also help us to see avoiding spiritual darkness. That's very important as well. So I'm Dr. James Markham. You can reach me at my website directly biblicalprescriptionsforlife.org. My direct email is heartwisejm at yahoo.com. And please bring me the videos that you have. You have questions on it. Please comment below. Let us know what you think. Look at Mr. Beast's video and see what you think as well. And I'll be back soon with yet another biblical prescription for life.